Hello and welcome to a new video about augmented reality. So what we are going to do today is to use this Vuforia Studio. We installed last time, this time we are going to use it. We will make our first so-called experience. Okay. So this is the, the surface. Uh, so this is the user interface of Vuforia Studio. Uh, so it's organized in so-called projects, in so-called experiences. Uh, and they are, these are located on our computer. Uh, they are local. Even if we operate with the browser, in this time, in this case, uh, the only supported browser by PTC is Google Chrome. You can use different browsers, however, I already experienced issues. Yeah. If something is not working, yeah, try it with Google Chrome. If it's working there, it's a browser issue. Okay, so how do we uh, start a new project? Uh, there is this plus sign above here. Huh? This is what we are going to do, plus. And now we're getting asked, hey, what do you want to do? 2D eyewear, 3D eyewear, or mobile? And since we want to use our mobile phone for our first try, we select mobile. Later, when we do it for the Microsoft HoloLens, we are going to select 3D eyewear. But right now, we are using mobile. Select. Now we have to give a project name. And to keep a little bit track, we have to follow some rules. Uh, to keep a little bit you know, organized. Uh, in school, we have to follow some rules. Basically, it's free. Uh, if you're not using this as a pupil of mine, so with your PTC account, you can select whatever you like. Uh, in school, we're going to do this. Yeah? We're going to use our school number. We're going to use our class name. Then we are going to use the name of the one who is doing this project. And then we're going to use a name for the project. And the name for the project probably uh, I don't know, first, first, this is my first project. And now we have to enter the experience service URL. Okay. This is what, if you have a PTC account, is already done for you. So there should be written something inside. If there is, if you in school, yeah, then you have to, have to use the account I'm going to tell you. Yeah? I'm going to type in here now a temporary uh, account. And the board is always 8443. Okay? So this is my temporary account. This server will no longer exist. There is a special, there's a special server name. URL, okay? Now we create this project. Project is going to be initialized here. That's the overview. That's the, that's the user interface now of a project view. You see there are views on the left side. There are so-called targets. Yeah? Here is the space. Yeah? This is where our project is going to be yeah, modeled. Yeah? Yeah. So this is our virtual space. The first thing we have to do, yeah? the first thing we have to do is to make a connection point between the reality and the virtual space. Here's the virtual space. Here's reality. Yeah? And I want to display whatever I'm going to model here now yeah? 
is here. Uh, so there must be somewhere I must tell here at this point this is this point. Yeah? There must be a connection between the real world and the virtual world. Uh, these are the so-called targets. Here it's in German Ziele. Uh, targets. Uh, there are picture targets, there's a model target, there's a spatial target and, and a thing mark target. Thing marks, by the way, these are special 2D codes. They are looking like this. Here in these points there is coded a number. This is a so-called thing mark to decode by PTC. We will we have to use this afterwards. Picture target is simply a picture if it is recognized in real. This is then our our target. Uh, model target would be a 3D model of some sort yeah? and if the 3D shape is recognized in real by our device it's, aha this is my target so I will project the virtual parts around this. And now we're going to use the spatial target yeah? or räumliches Ziel in German. Spatial targets are simply a flat spot. Yeah? Does not really define where. Yeah? Flat, flat spot. Yeah? And I will grab this here with the left mouse button and whoop, move it to here, release it. Then here we have it. Yeah. Here is our spatial target. Yeah. This is our point when we say this is the point in real, this is the point in virtual. Okay. With right mouse button uh, you can you can and, and, and the scroll you can select. Uh, right mouse button you can move, uh, left mouse button you can shift. It's pretty, you're getting used to it very quick. If you ever operated a 3D CAD system, it, you know, the buttons are a little bit different, but should be no problem. So, everything, now here we see, yeah. Spatial target. It is added to our tree. Yeah? We have a spatial target. It's currently called spatial target one. Yeah? All the things I'm going to insert here are getting names, automatically names. It's a good idea to rename those things. Yeah? To really rename those things. Uh, to rename those things here on the right hand side you have uh, properties uh, and here is the studio ID. You see, studio ID. Now click this button and you can select another name. Uh, I will call it T for target and floor. This should be my floor, target floor. Uh, also the name is changed, not the studio. The studio ID is the logical name and the Name here is the name here. I don't know, really know why you can defer, uh, but it's you know there are two names. One is the ID. I can I can also program then then JavaScript will get to know this. I have to use the Studio ID for this, and the 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 name is simply additional identifier. It is displayed here. We only change the Studio ID. Then the name is changed automatically. Okay, so next thing then is I want to display some 3D model. Huh? I want to display it. I have drawn in, in SolidWorks, I have drawn a, a small a small dice. Yeah? I've drawn a dice and I want to import this dice here now. Yeah? This importing can be done here at resources. Yeah? Resources, I simply have to press this plus button here next to the resources and then I can select 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 files okay I'm going to select files uh, somewhere hidden huh? it's in augmented reality of course Vuforia solid works and here is my Würfel uh, 
remember, it's an English speaking software, so don't use ü, 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 and so on, so special characters, uh, which are only valid for one language. Use just standard characters, yeah? then you're fine. Yeah? Open. Okay. This CAD optimizer. Yeah? This, you can use it if you have very complex uh, models. On a simple model, you don't have to use it. The CAD optimizer tries to reduce the amount of, of elements in the model. Yeah? Then you have, it is not only importing one, yeah? the original one, it is importing a large file, a small file, and a medium file. It's try to optimize, get rid of some, some data in there. Yeah? But this is only applicable if you really have a big model. Yeah? With my dice here, I don't do this. Add. I press Add now. It is converted to a PVZ file. Uh, PVZ is the 3D uh, model file of, of, of uh, PTC. Uh, if you're using Creo Parametrics, for instance, as CAD software, you will automatically save the things as PVZ. Uh, now it's done a conversion from SolidWorks to PVZ file, but it's working pretty well. So, I have now this resource here. Uh, I cannot just drag it in here, you see, it's not, it's not working. So, what do I have to do? Uh, I have to add a so-called model. I can find it here. Uh, so, I'm going to add a model, book. Uh, then, this is just a placeholder, this, this model here. Uh, this is located now, here, back. Uh, here, I can enter the coordinates of the model. Yeah? And these are in meters. Yeah? These coordinates always in meters. If you want to shift a, a, a one millimeter, you have to enter 0 0.001. Okay? So I will center it exactly where my spatial target is. That's 0, 0, 0, because my spatial target has also the coordinate 0, 0. Okay? Model 1 is 0, 0, 0. And now I can select here. A resource. Okay. I select the resource and papa, here is my dicey. Yeah. There is my dice lying around here. Okay. I can even I will also rename this yeah, studio ID yeah, model dice. It's you know, I, I this I just uh, I selected T for target. Now I selected M for model. That's not a bad idea to to code somehow in the name of the object what type of object this is. Uh, it will help if it's a little bit organized. Yeah? Ready, dice. So now I have my dice here. Yeah? Uh, I can even uh, try to 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 change the appearance yeah? so I can for instance try to 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 twist it a little bit you see 45 yeah maybe also here 45 and also here 45 then it's located on an edge yeah maybe here 90 oh this looks nice. Yeah? Now you see we are a little bit too, too below. Yeah? We are scratching the surface or we are inside the surface. So we will enter simply here a little bit more. Okay, still a little bit more. Still a little bit more. Now zoom in a little bit. How does it look? Uh, So we are modeling. Ah, this now looks pretty nice. Uh, maybe it's some tenth of a millimeter, doesn't really matter. Uh, so this is how our dice should look like. Uh, this I want to see on my mobile phone, this I want to see here at 
the task. Okay. This is my project. Okay. Now, I told you it's a pretty simple project, right? We, have, we will not start big. We will simply start small with a little Ticey here. Uh, yeah. What we're going to do now is we're going to rename our view. Currently it's called start page, yeah? start set. Yeah? We will simply rename this and call it dice. Now it's called dice, you see? Here, dice, this is nice, dice is nice. Okay, so now, how do we get this? Yeah? The connection is the experience server. Here, in we have here a thing mark, a so-called thing mark in experiences. Yeah? There's the title, yeah? thing mark, yeah? exact thing is, and here we have to enter the number of the thing mark. Yeah? The number of the thing mark is the one we're going to select. This here is one thing mark, yeah? and this is the number four zero twenty five one seven two. Usually. You see here my thing marks. If you have used the PTC account, you are getting some thing marks. You can find it under my thing marks. Since I am now in school, yeah, I don't have my own thing marks. The school has got thing marks. The school has got thing marks. Yeah? So we, since we are not using a PTC account, we are not getting thing marks. However, we did get thing marks, and that's one of them. And I'm going to use this now for the 025172 for the 025 double point 172. Yeah. This is the thing mark. If this thing mark, if I scan this thing mark somewhere, I will get now this project yeah. because it's one project I have published under this name. Since a lot of people are going to publish in the class, are going to publish with this name, now this naming here has a has sense. Yeah? Because then we see who is who and not just everybody is calling their project Würfel yeah, or Dice. Yeah? But then we have 20 Dice there. No, 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 no. Yeah? So this is why the name is nice. Yeah? And here we can have a description, a small dice yeah, living at the edge. Living at the edge. Yeah, well, yeah. Small dice, living, giving, living of course, living at the edge. Yeah. Good. So this is now I've named this. Here an in information, here we again see the experience server. Yeah. Here we can select uh, it's public. Yeah? If we select needs authentication, then I need to enter the password and the username of the experience server also on my mobile phone. If I select it's public, then I just click the click the uh, project and that's it. Yeah? Okay, that's it. Yeah? That's it. Uh, so we're going to validate now this experience server, see if we can reach it. Yeah. Validate. No. Why? Because I simply used the wrong experience server probably. Probably this is the case. I have to look up. Uh, of course, there's a typo. Validate. Validate. Ah, now I have username and password. There I have to enter the username and the password, yeah? you will also get it for me or you have it from your PTC account. Yeah?
connect. Now, aha, uh -huh. if there is this small mark at the side, check, check, it's validated. So the experience servers now could be reached. Yeah? Now this is finally, <laughs> finally it worked. Yeah? So, you see, if you have a BTC account, you should not care about those things. Here we have to configure it a little bit. Yeah. If you experience issues, ask me. It's cool. I'm there for you. Okay. So what we're going to do next yeah, is that we are publishing. Yeah. We are publishing our experience. First, let's save it. Yeah. Save is always a good idea. Yeah. And then we are going to publish it. Now something is happening, you see? Project successfully published, it was written there. Good, project was published. Now what? Huh? Now, sitting here. Huh? Now we are going to switch to our mobile phone. Huh? Now I am going to show you how, how to use this on your mobile phone. Okay. Okay, to do this, you have to download and install the so-called Vuforia View app. Then you should have a little icon yeah, like this, and you start the Vuforia View app. And then the Vuforia View app would look like this. Yeah. It is accessing your camera. Yeah, it is accessing your camera, and you have a scan field. Now you would have to enter the experience service URL. Yeah? It can be done here and, uh, and here is the experience service URL. Currently this is the wrong URL, the server is no longer valid. So I will switch back to, to scan mode and here it helps this QR code. Yeah? If I now scan this QR code, it asks me if the experience service URL shall be taken. Yes, please. Use the experience service URL. Now I scan. Yeah? Now it's waiting for scanning a thing mark. Since we told we are using this and that thing mark, yeah? I will also scan the according thing mark now. Yeah? And here we see, aha, uh -huh, there is one experience, and this is what I meant. If we are now publishing more under this one thing mark, we have more experiences here. Yeah? So we are going to use this. And now it asks camera, put the camera to a horizontal area. Yeah? Now I have to select the point, the spatial target. Yeah? And I already recognized that this is a, and I place it here, back. Yeah? And here is now my dice. Yeah? I can do around, go around with my mobile phone. And you see, it looks like it is there. <laughs> yeah, or maybe, hopefully. That's how this looks like. Huh? Nice, huh? nice, nice. This is our first, this is our first augmented reality experience. Not very impressive, yeah, but you know now how it is working. Huh? Next time we are going to do it different. Next time we are going to do uh, not only one model, we do more parts of a model and then we are going to animate this also. Uh, will also be funny. We will not also, we'll also not only use uh, no, the, the spatial target, we will also use a picture target then. And you know how this is working. This will then be next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.